Hello. And welcome to a Nintendo presentation. Da 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 da. No, it's the Nintendo presents. We were really good, so Nintendo gave us presents. It's a rareware game. That half that word I can't pronounce properly. Starring. And the other half. So not. No, all the R's and W's. The A and E. And E and A. Okay, I am supposed to hit a button. It's a cutscene. Normally you don't hit buttons in cutscenes. Oh god, I just, I just remember when I tried to play this game. This game is hard at parts. Oh, it is. I'll be honest, like, the only reason I ever saw the ending of it... Because you watched it on YouTube? It. Well, there I am. Oh. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call a bad fur day. Someone lend me a fiver. Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. I'll, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilets. Uh, go this way. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Discretion is advised. Just for the background, in case I don't remember to put that in the title or the, or the description. This was wasn't this Nintendo's, or at least the Nintendo 64's first M-rated game. I believe so. And like a number of parents uh, bought this game for the children because they're like, "Ah, eh, it's a Nintendo 64 game. How bad could it be?" Well, that plus also the fact that like this is technically a sequel to a very much kid-friendly game for the Game Boy. Wait, oh. Uh, Wait, what? Make it out. Anyway, yeah. it seems pretty familiar to me. Shoot, you should have played that. Probably people's uh, 
until this game came out, most people's exposure to Conquer uh, was, I believe, he was a playable character in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, which was an N64 game. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that Conquer was made specifically just to be a character in Diddy Kong Racing. And then a number of people are like, oh, hey, what's with this Conquer character? I want to play his game. Yeah, and then, and then there, was a, there was a game for the game book called Conquer's Pocket Tales. Hello, Never heard of that one. Susan, just turn the table around, you'll be fine. Walker doesn't know what to do with that yet. It's a bee! bee. No, I'm sighing because the camera controls are inverted. Is that not something you can do? Well, I guess maybe not this, but... I didn't know that the camera controls were inverted because when I went to test out the controls, moving the right stick didn't move the camera. Uh, I don't feel so good. Yeah, first person. Left does nothing. Just gonna walk around. I wanna see the Conquer's Bad Fur Day speedrun. But I don't necessarily like watching speedruns of games I haven't already beat. If I, you know, want to one day beat them, that is. Can you help me? I, I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, so you can't help me at all? Uh, uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe. Um, okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Ready. I scared birdies. Okay, birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? Right. Let's step over here. Mm -hmm. More walking? Try it again. Oh, I don't mind if I 
Oh, it's just gonna stop him. I'm yeah. hoping for like more. Oh, no. I'm gonna go to bed now. Nay, nay. Oh. Time for the birdies to eat all the crops. Give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive, clever. Oh, the way that both better. the way that they're like Get out of here. pushing oh, the way, message over and over. If for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least once. Hey. I don't know. The way that it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's water wings. Talking about, it's like, yes, context sensitive. What? Context sensitive? What does that mean? Context sensitive. Context sensitive means it gives me what I need. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure there was something. Ah, yes, now I remember. Hold the Z button down, and I should grab it. Now then, what was it? Oh yeah, press A to jump extra high. Then A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harbor. Hmm, I should easily get across that gap. All right, let's cross the gap. Um, are you sure you got that? Yes. Yeah, but I don't have this, this camera that I'm probably going to be fighting half the game. Got it. We 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 ah no. Well, know where to go, but out. Let's get washed ashore. Except this one. I just need to get back here. For, for no yeah. particular reason. Uh, try talking to him again. Oh, nothing? Okay. Oh. Oh. Nope. Still snowing soundly. Wee. I still remember uh, doing a bit of history here while I try to do all these jumps. I got my N64 when I was six years old as a Christmas gift. Uh, I got like the green one that was like, you know, like see through kinda. The one that came with Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay. So I played a lot of that game. And then a year later. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's this guy? If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charm. I just want to get past you, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. So anyway, hi, what up? Yeah, that's what he meant. Nice discussion. So yeah, it was a year later, on Christmas when I was seven, that I got my second N64 game. Was it this? No, goodness no. Okay. I didn't play this game as a kid. 
I got a much better game, thanks. What game? Ocarina of Time. What was your first game? Donkey Kong oh, right, 64. Right. Although, you have to admit, starting off with Donkey Kong is probably good, because as far as I know, like, that's the only game that came with the expansion pack that you saw. You see the lever behind you? Did I see a lever? Oh, this is a lever. I thought it was, yeah. like, a lamppost. That sounds like it would be important. It opened up uh, the door. Wee! Or you can go from the top, I guess. What's up? I don't think you can go this way yet. Somebody get me! Hey, look, it's money. It's money? I love that guy. But, uh, yeah. Because there's. Here's the thing. As far as I understand, the only games that required the N64 expansion pack were games made by Rare. Not all of them, but... Like, not every Rare game needed it, but the only ones that needed it were made by Rare. The expansion pack... the only game that came with it was Donkey Kong. So if, for example, you got Perfect Dark and didn't already have the expansion pack, Guess what? You're locked out of basically everything other than training. Oh gosh. Uh, is the expansion pack that little thing that's like? Hang on. Something missing here. Didn't I have a? Oh uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, is that the little like thing that like plugs into like the front of the console? Um, are you uh, sure yeah. You There's a little panel on top, but near the. Front. Aha, uh -huh. you have a frying pan. Come on, little key, get out of the fire and into the frying pan. Why can't why how's the this supposed to help me if hitting it doesn't do the thing. Well, because I haven't hit it yet. I phased this frying pan through that key. No, you keep swinging at that timing. That one totally touched the key. <laughs> Boy, this does not give me confidence for the rest of this run. Good. That's how you know it'll do well. Yeah, for like the longest time, I only had two games for my N64. Fun. And then, I'm trying to remember exactly how it worked out. Many, many years later, I think it was like 13 or 14 at the time, like that many years later, uh, my dad decided that he was going to like pick out two quote unquote new, two used games for me from. Uh, eBay. A frying pan. <laughs> you stupid little. Hope we don't need this room anytime soon. 
Do you see that little platform door? Yeah, there you go. I've played games before. With dynamite. Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. Ooh. Yep. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut eye. Finally. We. I'm trying to remember what those two games were. But I'm totally blanking. Probably Glover? Yeah, anti gravity chocolate, that's doing good. Anyway, out the window. Have some. Nom 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 nom. Mm -hmm. How much anti gravity chocolate got thrown out the window? Did you want to read that sign first? There's a sign to read? Wait. Yeah, I'm, uh, yep. Yeah. I know this leads through the bees, I'm aware. And I can't do anything with them right now. I know. My phone also knows. Ah! Oh. Okay, I've forgotten about that thing. Automatic. <coughs> nasty, nasty wasps. What the 
ever shall do. My beautiful hand is gone. Oh, I'll never see it again now. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Please get it back for us. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll go and get it for you. Now, where is it? Oh, just full of the sun. <laughs> So now you can go grab that hive. I can, but then the wasps come out and kill me. Okay. Oh gosh, ow. And you can go up there, and they'll kill you. Hmm. There's no more chocolate around, is there? I have hooped down to one uh, HP already. Yeah, that might not have been the best choice. I don't think I can climb up there because there's like barb stuff. Yeah, be careful with that barbed wire over there. Yep. Nobody walk slowly on those brambles. What's up about the brambles? You walk slowly on them. I see some chocolate. I see some chocolate. That's not the context I wanted, you know. Or he told you you need to pay him ten bucks. How dare. Nope, nothing down here. Okay. Oh. Stupid camera. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's M sixty four for you. Well, you could have just known. Very few. Very few N sixty four games actually had decent cameras. Serpentine! 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 Well, that's a much faster death than when I first played through this game. Yeah, usually you don't die for the first time until you reach the first level. a little shot to be a Grim Reaper? Well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What, what am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well made. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. Conker. Surname? The Squirrel. The Squirrel. The... <laughs> oh, bloody hell. You would have to be a stopping squirrel, wouldn't you? Why? Is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. Like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Yep. Apparently, according to the powers that be, <coughs> I'm just doing my job. I do what I'm told. I don't even get paid very much. Apparently, squirrels can have as many lives as they think they can get away with. Oh. <laughs> so I'm not dead. You're dead, but not quite. <laughs> right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Yeah. Just you wait, smart ass. You don't get out of it that easily. Now, the thing is, you may not be dead, but that doesn't mean you can't die. You just have a few more, shall we say, chances. Yeah. Like cats. I hate them. Right. Distribute. 
searching around your little world are these tail things. Squirrel's tails. If you can get them, I'll give you an extra chance. Understand? Um, well, sounds a bit strange, but okay. Strange? The best bloody deal you're going to get, you little prick. Right, that's it. Piss off. I've got some cats to see. Bloody things. I hate those bloody cats. The way they meow and they piss everywhere. And their shit smells just bloody awful. All over my Yeah, imagine how much of a time sink you can get in the speedrun by just never dying. Mm -hmm. Gosh, old games that take like a minute to pause. Whew. Now remember, when walking on this, just stick to the path. Yep. Alright, let's do the thing. How are you? Seventeen, 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 seventeen. Shoot. Yeah. Instead of serpentining, uh, let's go straight. Uh. How? Trying to. Pew 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 pew! Oh, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. And none of this would have happened if it weren't for that new good husband of mine who's gone off, you know, with another woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, as a reward. For your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Ten dollars. Damn, Conker, you got a bad case of cash hypnotism. Nay. Nasty and nice, yeah. It's the same sign as always. Mm -hmm. Oh, how much cash you? One hundred dollars. Hit me again, Mr. Scarecrow. Birdie. Right. What seems to be the problem? Oh yes, you need. Press B. <laughs> oh, get me out of here! Say you, scrub 
Hurry! Come on! I wanna go back in there! Hurry up! Okay. Suit me. That's the weird thing. Ash always seems to like sticking with Conquer. <laughs> If the controls are better, I imagine that there'd be a way to get past them uh, without having to destroy them in the first place. Just keep dodging and weaving. Seems like something the speedrun would try to do. Got it. I mean, of course, Dora and Wolf is actually all dead, but... Curiosity. Let's start. Oh, never mind. I guess it's on the title screen menu, whatever. To change the controls? But uh, what I'm looking for is something that's specific. It looks like people have access to here. Hmm. Let's see. That way, or that way. Hmm. Hey. That way smells a bit too. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. What do you think? Let's go to the Pooey area. Let's see what happens. Okay. What do you mean I can't jump up here? Uh, it doesn't want you to be able to yet. See, this goes on my gas mask. All of a sudden. Hmm. They'll now take off. I'm in it now. No. Well, I suppose I'll come back later then. It's only barely past nine, so. According to his watch. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the N64 games and Spiral Mountains? Well, you mean what's with with Rare and Spiral Mountains? Uh, I don't think I can make it past that, can I? I can try! It's fine. It doesn't care. Which <laughs> little sound effect from this ball? What do you mean? Okay, we'll have some x lax or something. I need to go in. Yeah, well... Aha! Now for this path that goes to his head. Jump on the head? No, no, no. Follow the path down to the end the other way. Okay. The fact that you're doing this, uh, you know, technically out of order, does make it helpful, you know, learning the path ahead of time. Out of order? You mean like a Metroidvania? Okay. 
how you know for later. I need to push something up this path. That path first, and then the other one. Well, the only thing left to check out is right here. Hmm. Get the impression somebody doesn't want me to be here. They certainly don't want me to go that way. Um, I think I'll go that way. <laughs> uh, is it safe, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Ah. So I mean, what? Super Mario 64 had Spiral Mountain. Yes, yeah, Super Mario. Yes, yeah, Super. Uh, uh, Super Mario 64 had a Spiral Mountain. Uh, Banjo Kazooie had one. Well, Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Kazooie have a location straight up called Spiral Mountain. What kind of are you talking about, Mario 64? Uh, the first level, Bomb on Battlefield. Uh, oh, that's what you mean. Uh oh. I think it's about to. Uh, uh, Ow! That was uh, bloody. I don't think that was blood. Doesn't like I'm going that way just yet. Well, yeah, it doesn't want you to go that way, I guess. Well, screw the game. Where'd that rope go? <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I want to know too. Where's the bridge? Uh, I heard. There's the, the rope. There's the... It's so like thin and like wall colored. I mean, it scans it once you're looking straight at it and recognize it. It's like, yeah. Collision physics. Okay, so that doesn't seem possible yet. Alright, fine, let's go to the other area. Well, you went up the mountain a little bit. So right up here, let's stuck on the ground level. What? You mean going through the river? Yeah. Who? Let's see what that sign says. Yeah. What does it say? No poo balls. Huh. It's a little fun. <laughs> oh god. Maybe not so nice. That's a lot of blood. Hey! Oh hey, what's that? Is that cash? It looks like a battery? It looks like a mushroom. Shut up, both of you! Ooh, what's that over there? Death! Oh, I'm being double teamed. Hello, is my sarcasm filter working yet? Alright. I guess let's go to the other path he was telling us to go. I like the idea that whenever Crunker dies, his tail gets, like, taken away, and that's why he needs, like, spare squirrel tails. Because, like, while he could very well live without a tail, he really doesn't want to. You're joking. Hmm. This will be a 
I must do some experiments. Yeah. Yeah. And we will solve this out. And then my head will die. Then, my God, we will see who uses the doctor. As I recall, bye. Oh, good. Let's see, there's all these little cheeses down here. I don't have anything to do with them yet. Yeah, but there should be something up in this area. Right. Hi, Doctor. Stay on the upper path and see if you can find anything. Maybe try smacking the wall a couple of times. Wait. See here, I thought that you just pull up a walkthrough. Oh, oh, hello. I wasn't ready for that. Was the contact sensitive button? Oh, but of course. Why do I have twelve lives? Uh, yeah, that was what. Can't do anything with the cheese yet. Sure, I can. Oh, stop jumping. Goodbye. I don't know where that cheese went, but it didn't stick around. But I'm. Someone's calling for me? What's up? Weaver? What? Ooh, what's up over there? Power? There's someone calling out. I'll already go check it out. Oh, there's someone right here. Hi, Flower. to jump down there if I can avoid it. Okay, that doesn't leave anyone there. There is a mouse, however. Keep going back around the other way. Maybe we'll just trip around the area. So I'm pretty sure there's one more character you can do. Alright, cool. Let me move my camera at all. 
The game heard me complaining too much about it, and now it's like, no, screw you, you don't get to move it. And maybe you don't need the pepper yet. Huh. Owie! Hey, think that's Bert? Hi, you must be Bert. I'm Bert. Jack sent me. I'm opening it for you here, and you can get on with what is everything you're trying to do. That's all you do? Great. Well. I am a bit concerned by why there's like 10 cheeses here. I'm concerned about how it is. There you go. But there's 10 cheeses around and you can't hit a single one. To be fair, the game seems to lag just ever so slightly. Oh. There you need to go the other way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Go through the path of more resistance, yes. So many cheeses. Yeah, do I have to do that ten times? I don't think ten times, but uh, is it just me or are those blocks moving faster now? They probably are. Man, these blocks sure have been working out, huh? I'm good. <laughs> they used to be stone. Now they're made of bed. They used to just move up and down, but now they can move forward. Marvelous. One more should just about do it. I want to hit the mouse with my frying pan and drag it on over to the cheese. I think there's a reason that you could get rid of the... Like, oh god. I'm fine. There's a reason I had to get rid of the hill what? I'll make you two at once. It would have made this a bit faster. I'm fine. What happens if you eat too much cheese, kid? Okay, there should not be kids watching this. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, greenery. I think the round's on me. I'm gonna get tanked tonight. <laughs> cool. That day ain't turned out quite so bad after all. Huh. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Big hand is... Yeah. Hey, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay, so you could go back to another area. But why? Wait, the game specifically waits for me to get another stack of money before it plays the cutscene saying that I can go to the store or whatever, or it would be hilarious if it was somehow real-time based. It's definitely not, but it definitely is based on when you get money. Now, I think there's supposed to be a way to get further up to you. Can I move the camera? Barely. Uh -huh. <laughs> the ladder is broken! Now, this is gonna be dangerous. Cool. Can you see how high up you need to get? Oh, I'm aware. Aw, oh, man. Squirrel! S squirrel! Climb the ladder. Azura? He won't climb the ladder if I just swim into it. If I jump into it, he won't climb the ladder. There you go. He won't climb the ladder, Azura. Interesting. Alright, now here's the question. Can I make this jump? Yes. Well, time to leave. No. Nah. What, you expect me to climb all the way back up there? <laughs> well, there is another way up there, I'm pretty sure. Oh? I mean, by the looks of it, it's almost like that. Unless there's another way onto the roof, and seriously, why would there be? Almost looks like you have to climb that first ladder to go across, so. Maybe something like this on this path. Yes, cool. Kinda. Well, camera, why are you still moving? Nope, can't stand on that roof. Okay, well, there was something else that happened earlier. Yeah, a door opened, yes. So all the cheese is gone, as well as bread. Wait, is this another... Yep. Oh my god, respawning... Ten, Ten light. light. Yep. Okay, good to know. I thought I'd just respawn as a one life, but... <laughs> no, me too. No, just another okay. ten. 
Have another 10 lives on us.